Town Hall 14 is the next update, so let's reveal it and tell you everything you need to know. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Juno Sloth. Here we have our Town Hall 13, which can now be upgraded to Town Hall 14. 16 million gold and a 20 day build time. Have your book of building ready, my friends. There are a ton of new troop levels to tell you about, but first, let's upgrade so you can see exactly what it looks like. And there it is, our Town Hall 14. It is a jungle themed Town Hall level and you can upgrade it, much like Town Hall 12 and 13. However, the weapon will remain the Giga Inferno and the damage per second and damage when destroyed will remain capped. I think this is a good choice because it stops the Town Hall becoming overpowered. However, what we do have is a poison bomb when the town hall is destroyed and that is what will be increased as you upgrade. Rather than give you all of the stats individually, I have them on your screen to compare. Please remember this is the developer build. All stats you see in this video are subject to change when the update goes live. But currently the Town Hall 14 Giga Inferno will give you an extra 20 damage per second every level and an extra 5% speed decrease and attack rate decrease. You can think of this very much like the freezing effect we currently have from the Giga Bomb at Town Hall 13. When we compare the different levels of Town Hall 14, aesthetically there isn't that much of a difference. The obvious one is the big Roman numerals above the entrance, indicating the Giga Inferno level. As we move to level 3, we have a larger golden block on top of the town hall. And then for Giga Inferno levels 4 and 5, you have this golden band around the top of the town hall. So let's take a look at it in action. Yes, we are getting level 80 heroes. You might have just maxed your heroes. Supercell? I will be going over all of the new troop levels, but once the Barbarian King takes down the Giga Inferno, I'm going to show you an example with a lot of Barbarians as well. Notice how epic the Giga Blast looks with the poison spell underneath. And the Barbarian King constantly getting damaged, but probably more importantly, slown down because that means your Grand Warden's Eternal Tome cannot protect you from that and the surrounding defenses can then do their work and take those troops out. What about with a bunch of Barbarians? Yes, this could be applicable to just about any troop, but I really want to highlight that whilst the Grand Warden's ability protects you through the Giga Bomb, previously at Town Hall 13, your troops would be slowed down, but now, your troops might still get taken out. The Barbarians are completely demolished by the poison spell, and this is in isolation. You might even have a scatter shot firing onto those troops to do extra damage. There is so much within this sneak peek. So let's go ahead and tell you all of the new troop, defense levels, everything you need to know. And this is only sneak peek one. So if you do want to see all of the new stuff as soon as we are allowed to bring it, I would recommend subscribing and turning on the notification bell. You do not want to miss it because this update is going to be epic. Kind of mentioned it already, but the heroes have an extra five levels. So starting with the Barbarian King, he gains an extra 45 damage per second and nearly an extra 1000 hit points from the previous level of 75. An extra five hero levels means we have an extra ability. Notable increases here are an extra two Barbarians spawned and 400 extra health recovery. Moving to the Archer Queen, she will gain an extra 26 damage per second with the five extra levels. Pretty good for those 
those queen charges and she will also gain nigh on 200 extra hit points. With regards to the ability, she also spawns one extra archer. She does have extra damage and health, but an extra 0.2 seconds of time that she is invisible. The Grand Warden with his increased level means you gain an extra 20 damage per second, 100 extra hit points, life aura remains exactly the same, but an extra 0.5 seconds on the ability. That is pretty good for me. I will take extra time on that Warden ability all day long. With regards to the Royal Champion, she will gain 25 extra damage per second, but very impressively, an extra 200 hit points. Damage on the Seeking Shield is an extra 100 damage per second with a 300 health recovery increase. The clan castle. We are getting an extra level. Many people expected this. There were a lot of detectives in the comments yesterday when we discussed the new clan castle donation changes. I will link you across to that video at the end of this one if you missed it. But how it was formatted, it was pretty clear we were getting a new clan castle level. But this is interesting. Take a look at the spell storage capacity. That is where the increase is, not the troops. But think about this. We could now take a clone spell in the clan castle. Do I think many people will? Probably not. I would just take an extra freeze spell, for example. But there are balance changes that I will mention at the end of the video, and the clone spell is one of them. Now, you cannot house enough gold until you have upgraded your storages. But remember, if you have been holding on to the hammers, you will be able to upgrade the clan castle. And as per my upgrade guide for every town hall level, the same applies here. Upgrade the clan castle as a priority. And there it is in the same jungle style Town Hall 14 theme. Now I will go over the lab. Let's first upgrade it. It will be 12 million elixir to upgrade with a 12 day build time. Again, I would recommend that you have a hammer or a book for this. And the main reason is that whenever you upgrade your Town Hall, we have the brand new Town Hall upgrade experience where you gain boosts and you can use maximum level troops for a set period of time for your lab level. Whilst there are a bunch of new troop levels within the lab, I will go over these once we've gone through the rest of the buildings. The Dark Elixir Storage will be getting upgraded, 12 million elixir with a 15 day build time, and you only have to upgrade one of the Dark Elixir Storages, obviously. If you are picking any storage to upgrade, the Dark Elixir one would be my recommendation because then you can upgrade your heroes faster. If you upgrade your storages, it means your magic items will give you better value. You then have four gold storages. You can upgrade six million each with a 12 day build time. I think the gold storage fits the Town Hall 14 jungle theme quite nicely. The Elixir storage is exactly the same. Six million with a 12 day build time. Let's first go over all of the new defense levels because everything in this area is getting an upgrade. Then we will talk about troop level increases and balance changes before something else that was mentioned within the announcement. This little section of level one walls is not an accident because we are getting 25 extra wall pieces. Yes, you have to grind extra hero levels and even more wall pieces as well. There will be a few extra traps at Town Hall 14. You will have one extra giant bomb, one extra regular bomb, an extra skeleton trap, which will be interesting, particularly for the Royal Champion, one extra seeking air mine and one extra air bomb. And that is not to mention all of the extra levels I'm about to go through. Whilst nothing in the bottom section here is getting an increased level with the update, we do know that the Clash of Clans team like to slowly integrate extra levels. So for example, the Wizard Tower. Whilst it is not getting an increased level right now, it wouldn't surprise me if all of the defenses, all of the traps, everything are slowly increased in level over the 
coming months. But enough about what is not getting upgraded, let's focus on what is, show you the stats and what they look like. Arguably, the more stronger defenses, the Scattershot, the Eagle, the Inferno Tower. Remember, the Town Hall will make your base a lot stronger. You're not getting extra Clan Castle troops on defense, but let's go ahead and upgrade them all. Remember, this is the developer build, how I am able to bring you the update sneak peeks, and that is how I have multiple hammer of buildings. Eagle Artillery, 20 day build time. It will be 20 million gold as well. Obviously, if you have any perks from the gold pass, this will mean it is discounted. And remember, if you are purchasing the gold pass or anything in game, you can support me by using code judo beforehand. It is much appreciated. So let's check out the Eagle Artillery, which blends in very nicely with the new Town Hall 14 jungle theme. We will be taking a look at the walls. I initially thought they were level one walls. I will be honest with you. So we have the 25 extra almighty level one wall pieces. And this is the new level 15 wall. If I zoom all of the way out, you can see where I got that first impression that it is strikingly similar to the level one walls. We've done a full loop, but with the jungle theme, there is green within it, and it's difficult to get a balance with that, I feel. Otherwise, it would just blend into the background. Mind that could be pretty good for defense, a camouflaged wall. By the way, with regards to the new level 15 wall, you can only have 100 of these currently, and it will cost you 7 million gold or elixir in order to upgrade. Let's move to the scatter shot though. 19 million gold, with a 19 day build time and i've got to be honest i like the look of the new scatter shot i think it matches the jungle theme very well and it looks way better in my opinion than the previous level by the way as i am going through the upgrades you can see the increased stats on the screen as well but moving to the inferno towers because this one is pretty interesting with regards to the multi-mode because it is 19 million gold with a 19 day build time, but look at the amount of targets, plus one. So you not only get the extra damage and hit points, which is obvious for the multi and single mode, but you get an extra beam as well with the multi-target Inferno. So let's go ahead and upgrade the Inferno Tower. Quite subtle, the changes, but again, it just nicely matches the green jungle theme that we have for Town Hall 40. Pretty cool upgrade for the hidden Tesla because we get an extra 10 damage per second, which in regards to a Tesla farm is awesome. 18 million gold with an 18 day build time. Let's go ahead and do that. You can clearly see the difference. Moving across to the cannons, remember you have the double cannon as well, 17.5 million gold. And the cannon for me is one of my favorite upgrades. Look at how awesome that looks. But the final defensive upgrade, not quite as exciting if you will, but the bomb tower. 18 days with an 18.5 gold upgrade and you can see these stats on your screen. Very quick then, there is aesthetically what all of the new defensive levels look like. Cannon is my favorite, particularly with that glow. But you can let me know your favorite in the comments. Let's go through all of the new troop levels though. I'm not necessarily going to go over all of the stats from the new troop levels because there's quite a few of them, but I will flash them on the screen for you. I would recommend upgrading your barbarians and archers with a priority for the main reason that if you did not know, the barbarians and archers spawned from your heroes are the level of troop within your lab. I would also prioritize, if you are a Town Hall 14, the healers, because there's a lot of queen chargers, royal champion chargers even, Pekka smash, yeti smash, that will benefit hugely from the increased healer level. So that would be a big priority for me. We mentioned the clone spell with regards to the clan castle. It is getting an increase and the capacity moves to 38 troops. So that is pretty awesome, but I still am not sure if it is going to have a huge impact on the meta. You can see a couple of extra troops and this is similar with the defenses in that I believe over the coming months we could expect other troop levels to slowly be integrated in. I am 
very interested to test out the Valkyries, but my other priority is going to be the Ice Golem because it is so useful when it comes to multiple different attacks. Balance changes, I will go over them pretty quick. The Clone Spell at level 6 is getting increased to 34 capacity rather than 33. The Super Giant is having its hit points reduced by 200, very much to do with the Super Giant and Witch strategy. The Super Minion, remember, Remember, level 10 will be your new super minion level because of the increased minion level. Any of the troops that have an increased level in the lab will translate across to the super troops. But the super minion DPS will be decreased by 50 with the HP increased by 100. I think this is a lot to do with the defending clan castle strategy. And obviously we had big changes in that yesterday. The Inferno Dragon, again a very popular strategy, is having its level Level 2 DPS decreased from 80 to 1600 to 79 to 1800 and HP decreased by 50. So a slight nerf but it should have hopefully the desired impact. Pretty cool this one because you noticed the extra spell storage capacity when we upgraded to level 10 but this is actually being increased from level 4 all of the way above. So if you are a Town Hall 8 with a level 4 clan castle you will be able to take an extra Extra spell. And in the announcement, what they mentioned was that we have new defense levels, hero levels, troop levels, the all new blank, and even the blank can be upgraded to fight back. That is going to be your next sneak peeks. So if you want to see that, I would recommend subscribing. I also have yesterday's Clan Castle changes linked here. If you missed it, you guys take care and I will see you in the next sneak peek video.